Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome back to Let's Play One Piece Unlimited Cruise, Episode 1. Last time, we did a bunch of backtracking, getting ourselves all the remaining treasures within the game. Off screen, I didn't actually get Brook's special because I was getting a little bit of a hard time getting the stupid pure iron ores to show up. So I'll grab that one later. But I was able to make this. This is the ultimate fishing rod in the game, ladies and gentlemen. It's got a little thousand sunny as its lure. It's adorable. It's extremely powerful, capable of catching sea kings. And my rod is almost entirely maxed out in terms of the length for the line that I can use as a result. So, off screen, I ended up doing a bit of grinding for my crew, getting them all with a bunch of cooking, as you can see. And now, everyone except for Chopper, has over 200 HP. So that's pretty standard and pretty even. If I wanted to, I could go to the end of the game right now and I'd perfectly be set. But we're not doing that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no. In this episode, we're gonna be tackling the hidden bosses, or I should say probably two of the hidden bosses. There's probably gonna be two episodes oh. of these because the hidden bosses can take a while. So first off, we're gonna go on Wooded Isle to our first hidden boss, which we ended up revealing his location really early in the game, actually. So it's about time we take care of this stupid tree, shall we? So let's head on over there. I could have, you know, met you guys over there, but I needed to grab all my healing items because I'm going to need it. Now, I'm not going to be using any of my revival elixirs. I'm trying to save all my revival medicine for the other two hidden bosses. One in particular is I what I'm saving it for. That's probably the last one, which is the strongest boss in the game. But let's go over this way. Now, for each of these bosses, you're going to need something different in order to open up the way. For the most part, it's actually just stones. This is the only one that you actually have to build a bridge to get to. So, you end up getting a bunch of wood and everything together, and we build the bridge. So, let's finally take care of this tree. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to this. And suddenly, we're where we fought Kuma. Of course, it's Buggy. なんだ、バギーか。これまた随分懐かしいやつが出てきたな。なあ、お前その花蜂に刺されたのか。俺薬塗ってやろうか。うう、he <笑> いや、花があっていいじゃありませんか。私なんて骸骨ですから、花がなくて。よ、スカルジョーク。笑うなくしょがめ。てめえら揃いも揃って派手やほどもが。この大海賊バギー様の手に派手にしねえ。all right, so now we're in our first hidden boss against Buggy the Clown, owner of the Chop Chop Fruit, the exact opposite of Luffy's fruit. The Bada Bada Nomi, as it's known as, is extremely versatile, and there seems to be a running joke within the One Piece Unlimited Cruise and just Unlimited series in general, in which Buggy is OP as all can be. Buggy is ridiculously powerful and very hard to deal with. His special is probably one of the worst ones, going on the tier same as Blackbeard, if you ask me personally. Now with his Chop Chop Fruit, he's able to get sliced up no matter what, and he can reform his body. He can end up sending his body into different parts if he wants to, and they will float around as long as his feet are on the ground. He's the exact opposite, as I said, for the 
uh, Luffy's fruit, which is the gum gum fruit, because in Buggy's case, he can get sliced up as many times as he wants and will be fine, but blunt objects hurt him. In Luffy's case, he has the exact opposite of that. Luffy at, can basically take any blunt object and things such as bullets be just fine. However, he can't take sharp objects and swords such as slicing and cutting. Now, inside the One Piece universe, Buggy is the ultimate comedy character, pretty much. For the most part, Buggy is able to survive in areas in which he should physically not be able to, in all honesty. What do I mean by that? Buggy is extremely lucky. I mean extremely lucky. He's extremely weak, only with a bounty of 30 million, which is still something to, like, you know, not be too uh, non-impressed about. However, it's what he manages to survive and get into that makes you just want to root for him. Buggy, at this point in the One Piece universe, has become one of the seven warlords because he used to be one of the swabbies on the Pirate King's ship. And as a result, everyone thinks he's extremely powerful and a lot more powerful than he really is. He has a really big ego that tends to get in his way a lot. But he has the luck that manages to have it that he gets people to follow him. His biggest thing is that now he has an organization run with thousands of pirates that escaped from the prison Impel Down that follow him as though he were a god because they were under the impression during the Whitebeard War of all the things that Buggy supposedly was saying he was doing, but in reality it was everyone else, you know, doing these amazing accomplishments. That's just how it is with Buggy. Now, I've got him about halfway down to health, but once he gets down to about a quarter is when it gets to be a pain. Because now he's going to start using his signature move, which I think he's going to probably do it soon, because he tends to spam it a lot. And I'm surprised he hasn't done it yet. I kind of want him to do it before he does it and kills one of my crew members entirely. Oh! There he goes, he kills one of my crew members, which means he's going to use it right now, so I'm going to use Nami. Right? Yeah, stop stop using your bar of bar card. Right? Ah, dang it. Buggy has a lot of counters, honestly. That's ridiculous. I'm surprised he's not used to special yet. I'm surprised he's not used to special yet. Oh, here it is. His mug, not muggy ball, his buggy ball, which is a giant cannonball that does a shit ton of damage in this game. Do not let him, watch out for him when he comes to that. All right, I'm gonna heal with Nami. Oh, here it comes. This might kill me if I'm not careful. He aims it towards you too, which is the worst. If you're caught right in front of it, you're pretty much guaranteed to get massive damage done to you. All right. How did it? I'm gonna try that again, because that shouldn't have happened. Alright. Come on, I, what I need him to do is. Alright. Ah, he got out of the way. Nami still managed to do at least some damage. Oh, there goes Nami, right as she was about to do her break rush, which would have been good for me. All right, let's bring out Usopp, so then I can get some distance between Buggy and me. Okay, getting distance from Buggy bad! I, can't, I have no idea where the hell he is right now. That's terrible. Uh, get him close and launch him away so then he can do his buggy ball again. Oh, I managed to hit him with that. Sweet. Perfect. Looks like the impact dial does quite a bit to buggy. That's actually pretty good. I didn't know that. Right? Impact dial does... Oh, beer comes... Oh, no. I'm dead! Oh. 
Alright, since Usopp's just about dead. Okay, Usopp is entirely dead. I was gonna use his Pachinko Chaos. Oh, no. Okay, that was close. That could have gotten really badly. Okay. No, this is when he starts to. Look at that goddamn damage that the freaking muggy I keep on wanting to call him muggy balls because uh, he has another move that he uses later on called muggy balls that are pretty much uh, tiny versions of the buggy ball oh, I managed to do quite a bit of damage to him okay Sanji it's up to you come on and there we go. That takes care of Buggy. Woo, that one was kind of getting close. A little bit rough near the end. I was not going to lie. But that takes care of the first hidden boss. If these take too long, they may end up being just their own parts. I may just do that because I still need to grind up a little bit of GP, I think, to get to the next boss. But we got ourselves a chest. And we get seven for our gold gp all of the hidden bosses will raise your gold gp that is the only reason why they exist is to raise your gold gp right now we can go to the final boss because we have 10 gp and everything else Yeah, you got very lucky when he almost killed you. He pretty much had you trapped inside of Goldie Rogers' execution little holder and was about to kill you, and then a lightning strike hit you. Hit him. Yeah, he's an oddball, and he's also a Shibukai. That's why I kind of love him. But open up this chest, and we get a Sea King Fin. Sea King Fins are pretty great. So... This is the dialogue that would happen if you never have caught a Sea King beforehand. Whenever you catch a Sea King, you don't keep the whole thing. It drops a small part of its fin. So, you can make the Sea King fin to make meat lovers delight. Yes, a Sea King at last. I always wanted to cook one. Time for some real gourmet cooking. Those fins raise so much HP. It's ridiculous. But let's head back to the ship right now. What time are we? We're at 15 minutes already. Ah, that was a lot longer than I thought. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually going to end it off right here. I didn't think that buggy would take that long because he's technically the weakest of the hidden bosses, which really shows how much of an uphill battle I have. But it was enough to where, well, I can take up a full episode with buggy. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. Roxas1359. Looks like these hidden bosses are going to be one episode apiece. So next time, we're going to be tackling our next hidden boss. See you guys next time.